Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Welcome to Chasing the Kraken. I wanted to show off this kayak cooler crate design that I've done. This is a bit of a DIY project, obviously. So just to note, it's basically based off of a metal cooler. Now I've seen these online for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Um, they've come out, most of them have the same design, just a few different uh, logo changes, or whatever. This one happens to be Moosehead, which is a Canadian brand of beer. Uh, now let's just start off with the basics. So essentially it's just a cooler. Uh, all I've really done to it, I've, done, I've modded the inside as well as added this rack on the back. So I'll go through that with you. So basically what I've got, a piece of wood. Now in this, so this is actually ABS pipe. So this fits my fishing rods. Now I needed something for the top that would actually, you know, hold the rod in place. So the back of the rod was kind of, you know, uh, locked in and I didn't really know what I could make. So I ended up 3D printing these. So this piece, this piece, and this piece are all 3D printed. This is 3D printed to match my, uh, my net. And then these two are for my two rods. So they fit in uh, nicely, they, they're nice and sturdy. And all I've got this thing attached to, because um, I wasn't 100% sure that it was gonna be permanent, is some uh, really good double-sided tape. Um, and these pieces are actually screwed. Um, it's a larger hole here and a small hole in the bottom, and they're screwed right into this piece of wood. Now this cooler, so, you know, normally when you have a kayak crate, you've got the inside for all of your tackle. I have a tackle bag that I, I carry as well. So what I really wanted was access to drinks and snacks as I was on the water. So this thing basically tilts back, this lifts off, and originally, you can sort of see it here, uh, it's just a metal lined cooler. But when I first got it, I found that the cooler itself was, it was pretty sad when it came to keeping ice, like uh, it just would not keep things cold. And then I actually, for work, I received this uh, cooler bag with some stuff in it for, uh, for an event we had. And so all I did was actually cut out the pieces. Um, and what it is, it's got a plastic lining and it's got a silver lining on the inside and it's all insulated. And all I did was hot glue that into place along the inside. And now this thing will hold ice almost as good as a Yeti. It's actually pretty crazy how well insulated it is now. Now I wouldn't fill it full of liquor, uh, liquid, but you can definitely use it as is. And all that happens is I'm on the water. Uh, these are closer to me right behind my seat. I'll, I'll post a picture of this. Um, so I've got my rods here, my net, and then if I ever want a drink or a snack, I just push this back, reach inside, grab what I need, and there you go. So this is, like I said, my little DIY project. Nothing fancy, but uh, it serves a purpose and it, uh, it does a good job and it looks good. Uh, it's not too heavy and when I get out of the water, I just lift it out. Uh, I've got bungee that secures this. Uh, one last thing that I actually did, just while I, have it, while I have it here, is I actually put some foam mat, which I cut uh, three layers deep and I actually just uh, hot glued that in. So basically, once it's in the kayak, I'm not scratching the kayak with the metal, and it just uh, has a nice uh, grip to it. So yeah, just sharing that with you. I hope that's helpful. So uh, thanks everyone. Um, looking forward to more videos, and let's keep on cracking.